Well, look here at County Hall. This looks to me, you notice the change, this looks to me like it's the Freemasons saying they're living off the backs of us, the workers. It's got to stop, and it's got to stop soon. What they're doing at the moment is stopping a pregnant woman from going to the toilet. Exactly. What he said to me verbatim was, he's been moving by the back of the fire. I just wanted to do a wee wee, that's all, I won't be a moment. Yes, they are black. The sword I stood in much ships. Minutes after they took I from the bottomless pits. But my hand was visual. By the hand of the Almighty. Forward in the shepherd's Right, now, let, let me explain the situation, it's officer. Appropriate. Let right. me explain the situation. Constable. Right. I, I understand the, I understand right. the background. I just have a meeting with Steve okay. Edwards, the uh, Director of uh, Social Services. Right. I've spoken with the Head of Security. Here's Steve. Okay. Right. I've assured them that no one's going to invade the building. Right. Right. Now, we have a pregnant lady here. Okay. Right. I've requested that they... The security they cause a lot of problems. To, to ...use the toilet. Right. Right. Now, I've just got hostility uh, from the security, uh, uh, having been reassured that the security all right, we're going to back off to, to try and stop creating an atmosphere of hostility now. Okay. Now, I've had one of them go like this, 
giving it the big I am. Well, if he wants to come out and have a fight with me, well, let, let the oh, arsehole okay. come out and have a fight so, with me. So, okay, so, no, 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 I want to fight with okay. They are the ones well, the pregnant well, woman wants to use the toilet. I'm here to facilitate the We were peaceful, right? Until that dirty nonce inside there, right, started giving it. Come on. Let me show you who he is. Fucking nonce. Mickey, I've been peaceful right up until now. Let the policeman now. sort it out. Let me sort it out. And if that nonce wants to tear up, bring him out and he can have it. Make, let, let the you will not be prevented from a peaceful process. No, no, absolutely. Bring that paedophile loving scumbag out here. Come on, mate. I know it's difficult, this, and I'm, I'm sorry about the day. Your head, Steve, fear. your head of security, based on my, what did I tell you? that no one will intimidate your staff. Did I tell, not tell you that? Yeah, yeah. You right. and no I've, one, I've just assured your head of security. No one is. And, I, and I've got a, a total tosser in there, yeah. giving I it suppose, this. I suppose our, our security don't know you as well as I do. Someone yeah. pregnant wants to go to the toilet. Can, you, get, can you erase the, the lady in? I'll, 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 I'll take her through yeah. myself. Where is she? <laughs> the Where is she? <laughs> It's probably gone round the back. I'll go. I suppose the <coughs> people don't know you. It's not as so you know, they've got to make the decision. I'll go and have a look. Let's fix my body inside. <laughs> This is a peaceful to that nonsense in there. Here she comes, she's coming. This is her here. Well, I'll tell you now, I want him. I think she's I want him to I want him I want him to I want him to come out and apologise to that lady. I'm sorry, I'll be happy that I'm apologising. I'll have a word with you. I'll have a word with you. The lady deserves an apology. She's here. Are they ring the police? Probably. I'm washing my hands in a gentleman's toilet. Thank you. Mickey, there's a great big someone's on a huge no one's banged on the door. Right, apparently to do with toilets. So what's happened is that lady's been allowed to use the toilet, yeah. yeah. They're going to stay as they are. The door will be closed, they'll let stuff in and out. And they are quite happy for you people to have your protest out here. I am happy for you to do that as well, providing that we don't have anything that, that constitutes a public order issue. What, what, what you, like what? needing the loo? Crying well, out loud, this is our yeah. tax money that that's, pays for this. That's a completely different issue. The lady's gone to the toilet. I need a reason well, well, I don't know whether they're going to let you in. It's All a public I could, building. Well, they say it's a private building, and that's no, something I'm not going to get into. Well, I pay my council it's tax. I'm in charge of the public no, 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 it's a public, it's a public building. Over. It is a public building. Well, I'm not going to get into an argument. I know, but as a police officer, the public house is a private constable. The constable. <laughs> then I've got a right <laughs> to go to that toilet. They, they have, pay my council tax for something I can't tax. To prevent access, if you wish to do so. Can I? To stand up. Uh, what I would like to do at this moment in time, yeah. are you a police officer, a constable? I am a police officer. Right. I would like you to arrest that man right, for an act of provocation, right, right, an act of intimidation, right, where a breach of the peace was concerned. No, I'm not going to do that. Why? Because the information that I received from that side counts as your argument. We've got it on video. So, so, and I'm not, I, at this moment in time, I am not going to deal with that. Those gentlemen are doing their jobs. Well. That, that, that man that. Right, has int intimidated me, causing a breach of the peace. I require you to arrest that man. I'm not going to deal with him. No, because you're like the rest of the Nottinghamshire police, like Operation Daybreak, corrupt. You have your opinion, sir. Mm. You have a nice day. Thank you very much. <laughs> They're not even letting Steve in now. <laughs> watch your own. You've been shot, mate. <laughs> I'm being in the
Which we know it is. Back, come. No. Let's see, Bill. It's just like two members of public in on a say two panels of toilet. It's just a door. Marika, we're wrong. Those two ladies work over there. They're nothing to do with the council. Steve's going to come out and make a statement. Is he? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'd like to say that uh, I've been dealing with this man for over a year since Graham Holden, uh, Diane Hawley and several other people from uh, all over the country came here. And out of everyone that's involved in the Nottingham to Childhood Abuse stuff, right, he's a man of integrity as far as I'm concerned. Um, he's worked with me and is currently engaging with me to try and bring me some kind of formal closure over the uh, records that allegedly been destroyed. Um, you know, other than that, uh, the only thing I can say is uh, Steve and his uh, boss, uh, Councillor Alan Rhodes, they, they made a commitment that they want an independent inquiry, unlike their counterparts in the city. Um, there's no cover-up here, and they want to be open and, and form some kind of committee uh, to, uh, to lead an inquiry uh, to later today. So, uh, yeah, I'd just like you to have your comments, Steve, because we, we, we have actually we've, we've actually done quite a bit together. And, I, I have a hell of a lot of respect for this guy. Okay, all right, thanks. I just want to say really that everyone who's involved in childcare at the minute, the politicians, the MPs, leader of the council, city council colleagues as well, are all committed uh, to getting to the bottom of this. And we are going to have a review of what happened so that the victims uh, can feel heard. And we're working together to do that. We are working with Mr. Summers and uh, we'll continue to do that. We treat all allegations of abuse that they very seriously. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone got any questions for Steve? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry about the dolls. Um, yes, the situation that's awful. Like that. I, I had I, to go I, to I, work I, with this toilet with a great poo right, in it. Except it's that. Just I, it, it's two, yeah. There's two ladies that don't even work here and just entered as right. members of the public, which we have the right to do, and I asked him peacefully, could I use the toilet, and he shut the door on me. Now, I, I work and I pay my taxes for this building. Yeah, yeah. I've got the right to go to the loo. I know, Steve, it's not really what you're here for at the moment. Yeah. But it's a loo. You know, I thought exactly I'm not, exactly I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to defend any situation, but if I was going to explain it, you know, I, I've met Mr. Summers quite a few times. I, I know that he's a peaceful uh, person. You know, there are lots of protests outside councils, and sometimes everybody is peaceful. So, well, is that everybody like knows, like and, I, and I was just referring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, it beggars belief for me. I mean, we're not, we're not covering anything. But, but you can, like when, it. when you're looking at the it, process, it seems really sneaky. If I'm honest, so they know what to destroy. Well, the victims are coming forward, and it's all big. Well, we're continuing. Yeah. What like you just said, we're continuing to work with Mr. Summers and other victims of abuse, and it's a process that goes back to the 1950s in mm. some cases. So it's a long time and it is complicated, but there is a commitment from the city and the county councils to get to the bottom. Well, none of us actually. That's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. None, none of us believe anything that comes out of. Now, I, I can tell you all here and now. 
she was head hunted by the city council. She has a history of something like the baby pee thing called baby hef on Umberside, where she was almost stripped of her job. And no sooner had the investigation finished, right, she's head on to come to the city. And my accusation is she was brought in to extend the cover up of the city. And I can't accuse the, the county council in my case. And I found Steve and some of his counterparts to, to be above board. You know, and uh, today, you know, I mean, we could have had a situation of hostility, you know, and I give credit to Steve for having the balls to come out. Okay. And also, Steve, I'd just like to say, um, some of the staff that you do employ, uh, obviously you know some of them must have a bit of a track record from other councils. How are these people investigated before they go into another job in another city? Because from what I'm researching at the moment, I'm seeing like a, a trail behind these people where failings in one part being moved to another area. I'll give, I'll give an example, Pam, Pam Allen, who was uh, under Rotherham when all the problems had. She was taken to East Lindbergh. And now she's actually in, back in Sheffield doing another job as a manager. And all these people, they've failed people over the years and they're still keeping these high profile jobs. And so we have got serious concerns and we'd like to know what the um, what, what everyone's going to be doing about that as well at a later date, if you can address okay. that problem and look right. into people that are working <coughs> for you and their failings um, towards children um, over the years. I'm not, I can't get into individual yeah. discussion, no. an individual saying, I never, never will. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm responsible for the I'm responsible for the recruitment of social workers. Uh, social workers have to have a CRB clearance, and we get full and detailed references. There's a proper process that we go through so that we get suitable people working with vulnerable children and not even any key records. Yeah, we have an employment history. As a member of the public, I find it absolutely horrifying. Yeah. I really do. To, to have heard some of this and to have come up on, on the off chance from Leicester, I just, you know, I'm gobsmacked. It, it, it's just horrible. I just don't see how the people aren't weeded out or at least made to stand and apologise or say something. We're just ordinary people. They, the boys didn't have a voice in those days, yeah. and you're not giving them one now. And, and as a taxpayer, I find that really very naughty certainly very sad you know to, to after all they've been through to still ignore them as if they don't exist I, you know it, it is dishonest Dishonorable isn't and it? dishonest i would like to know <coughs> why when you apply for my records they said to me oh we'd have to search them for first to look at something we're going to take out and i said well can't i sit in a room with you and you can watch me look through the records they said no we have to look at it <coughs> first before you can have a I said, yeah, but uh, yeah, my, yeah, all, all, my own records. Yeah. All, all, all public bodies are, 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 are bound by the data protection legislation, and there has to be a clear principle about sharing third party information. So, third party information, if we share records, that's got to be taken out. I'll get the agreement of the third party to share it before we share it with the individual uh, records. I have a question. And that, that's not, you know, that's just not how we apply with the legal process. Does that not leave room for people to fix documents and lose documents? Like that's, the, that's the whole crux of it. And if we, if we look on grassroots at the minute, this is not just happening here, it's happening all over the nation in spits and spats. I just explained, you know, there's a, there's I know, I know. The county council, the you know, political council has got to sort of follow the legislation. Following the same policies. So there's a failing, yeah. surely. As a commitment, Steve, um, so how we can't get access to some of these records because they've been closed down, some of these files that have been closed down, yeah. um, will you also talk to the rest of your council and county council about unleashing this, this shutdown of these files that have been closed down for 50 years? Because that's also uh, stopping closure for victims as well. It's protecting the paedophiles. Yeah. That's something that, you know, when we, we've discussed that, yeah. haven't we, and yeah. we're looking at that. Had my records been available, Steve, right, they would have clearly showed who the man was that took me to Langport in Somerset as being Alan Smith, the former head of social services for Nottingham South, right? I accuse that man of being a child rapist, right, employed by the City Council, you know, and he needs to be found. The Operation Daybreak will not search for him. They're corrupt. And we need the end of the corruption. Yeah. It's time they were all named and shamed. Just going back to the data protection that you just mentioned, I know a bit about data protection, it's not yeah. third party because it's her, it's her, it's not like it's another person, it's not third party because they were her details. She's got, like you are your medical records, because I work in the NHS, your medical records, you are allowed to see 
She's not past a third party. Well, what happened? What, 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 they don't want to know, they all stick together. Now, because of that, my children have been taken and it's all been covered up and they lied and they've done everything. And what am I supposed to do? I haven't got the power. I'm just a mother caring about my children. What do I do? Candace fell into personal problems and uh, she asked for help. Instead of getting help, she ends up having her children taken away from her. And uh, she's fighting now back to get justice, to but get her children back. And she's struggling daily on a daily basis. Along now with the a mother that also suffered abuse, and also the sister now that tried to go after her children. And uh, this family are being penalised uh, for their children. It's one that's gone from the mother to the daughter to the I daughter. I was abused children's home, now I want my grandchildren out. And so out. far they've been a major And foster abuse, care as well, and they're not getting support at all. I'm actually going to make an accusation, right, against Nottingham Council that this family are being racially profiled. And it's 2014 and it's still going on now. If it's not sorting out the old ones, why, why can't they be And I've got photographs of the Lord Mayoress in children's homes. And it happened when I was in foster care as well. Same place where my grandchildren are now, the same area. And I want them out before they get abused as well. There's no rights for children. What happened to children's rights, citizens' rights, people yes. with rights in Nottingham all together, yes. Children. You can see the change in the children already. You can see the change in them. Children with special needs, disabled people, mental health, whatever it is, they're clapping down and them taking them because they're vulnerable and got no voice. And you go to professionals for help and they all work together and set up. But I've heard in Leicester they're taking responsibility and they're doing something. Why isn't Nottingham doing it? Why? And even they've been told they can't, the brothers that's in the care have been told they can't even see each other and not be allowed out until they're 18. They're only young, right? That's not right. And that's against all their principles. Same things to them. Um, I live in Bethel Park in Nottingham, I do. Um, city, yeah. Yeah, city. It's been, it's been going on for years, um, basically. And it's always the same people involved as much scandalous. Special people. And that's my other daughter, special needs and special needs. Everybody else I know is racist. Um, I've had it for, I've got five children, all my children had Asperger's, and never got diagnosed. And then it's like, my 11 year old one, he's been on medication for ADH since he was, since he was about four years old. Um, and basically there's nothing wrong with him now, he's taken into care, yes. he's getting a statement in, he's got ADH, he's got other things going on. Um, basically he's complex problems I know, I've asked for the help, but basically down to me having a bit of depression being a carer, it's all my fault and it's environmental factors. Yet my son is supposed to have traits of schizophrenia, so what happened to the children's rights? I asked for the help, I've been to the doctors. You know, I, can't, I can't comment on it. Well, where do we go to to get out of it? Well, if... Can she answer me? Because I've got to know that. I would advise it's legal advice is what you need. I've done that all day. I went to the court. I can't offer you more. Before you go in, Steve, I'd like to really wrap this up with you, Joe. You and Anthony May actually asked, offered me a public apology last year. For what you've done in recent times and your commitment, I'm going to accept that apology today. Thank you, you for listening. Thank you. We've been doing it for years, on and on, fighting, 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 and you know, everything is a scandal. Social services have failed me all my son's life. It's only actually
Yeah. Oh, that's good. Billy Bragg. I'll do another Billy Bragg one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, well, I do like Billy Bragg. He's got, he's, got, he's got some good protest songs. Here's a protest song from where I live in Manchester. You can stick your new world order up your ass. You can stick your new world order up your ass. You can stick your new world order. Where the sun don't shine but order. Sing your new world order up your ass. Sing it, we are the 99%. Sing it, we are the 99%. Stick your peanut up your ass. Stick your up your ass. Stick your peanut up your ass. Stick your peanut up your ass. your ass. Stick your peanut up 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 your ass. Stick Fracking drilling up your arse. You can stick your fracking drilling. It's all our land you're killing. Stick your fracking drilling up your arse. Up your arse. Singing, we are the 99%. Singing, we are the 99%. Singing, we are the 99%. Together we are mighty. We are the 99%. Stick your peanut up your arse. Stick your pedophilia up your arse. Stick your pedophilia up your arse. We are the 99%. 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 Together we are mighty. We are the 99%. Oh, I'd rather be a human than a slave. Oh, I'd rather be a human than a slave. Oh, I'd rather be a human. And don't you know that you can rather be a human than a slave? Singing, we are the 99%. Singing, we Singing, we are the ninety. Together, we are mighty. We are the ninety-nine percent. If we stay a new world order up your ass, up your ass. If we stay a new world order up your ass, if we stay a new world order, where the sun don't shine but order, stay a new world order up your ass. <laughs> we don't be no forced adoption. We don't be no forced adoption. Kids alone. <laughs> I got 
two, three, four. Hey! Tito's! Leave those kids alone! That's the City Council. All in all, you're just a another brick in the wall. Don't need no force to We don't need no need no force control. The dogs are counting in the classrooms. Hey! Chances go thinner. There ain't no hiding place from the Father of creation. Sing it! One love, what about the one heart? What about the let's get together and feel alright and bleed into mankind? One
complications is the golden rule. Now it's just pieces of paper. Just because you're better than me doesn't mean I'm lazy. Just because you're going forwards doesn't mean I'm going back. Last year's trousers and your old school shoes Looking son, it's a violent market They can't afford to catch you Just because you're better than me Doesn't mean I'm lazy Just because I dress like this Doesn't mean I'm an activist Future for the chosen few. Just because you're better than me doesn't mean I'm lazy. Just because you're going forward doesn't mean I'm going back.
No, uh, well, clearly you've seen that I've been in there and spoke to them there, but obviously the reason behind the call was people from the demonstration have got access to the building. I've been within the building. Yeah, we can, but are these people with you that are deciding to film it? If you want to talk in private, you're not going to do that while they're filming it. Well, uh, I mean, I like talking from to my colleague Mark. Well, that's not that in private, is it? I was going to invite uh, The situation was, I've, uh, we've had a meeting with uh, Steve Edwards, the director of social services this morning. Okay. Now, it, it was aware there was going to be a protest. The city events team have always been aware of everything that we've done. Okay. Everything's always been peaceful. Right. Until, this, uh, until we, uh, we left the building, I came out uh, along with some, some colleagues. We've had a very Good meeting with Steve Edwards. Right. Is that this morning? Uh, yes, we, right. um, in one of the committee rooms. Okay. Now, I spoke to the head of security. Yep. And I, I asked him, uh, no one's going to come in. Uh, I gave him a personal assurance to Steve Edwards and to Council Roads that, that there'll be no hostility towards any okay. of their staff because Good. our major issue is with the City Council. Right. Uh, they're the ones that's covering it all up. Uh, but we're actually moving forward with the county and they want to put uh, an, an independent inquiry so we don't have any acts to run with them. Now, the act of provocation came from one of the security guards right, when, it, when he, he started giving the intimidation. And he's got his SIC now, badge as well. And the bottom line is, right, I'm a victim of, of uh, historic sex abuse. Now, right, I suffer with post traumatic stress disorder as well. Yeah. And I'm not going to be intimidated. No. No. Well, I'm not here to intimidate you. <laughs> okay. I, I'm, I'm here because somebody's called the police. Now, I'm assuming from your point of view, what you would like is uh, a peaceful protest. We've had a peaceful protest. And you've had a good meeting, a yeah. productive meeting, and you're going to take steps forward. Yeah. So what's not going to help what you want to achieve is by people gaining access to the building and it becoming non-peaceful well, because then they that gives them cause well, to call I, the police, doesn't it? Can ah, I, but it was peaceful at first because I came out of the meeting to come out and see everybody here because we were getting photo calls when I was in. A lady approached and asked if she could go to the toilet. The security so, so man... Pregnant as well, right? The security man says, no, we're not allowing anybody in. But none of us lot have signed out. So if there's a, is a fire here, they're going to be looking for me, looking for Mickey, looking for Mandy, looking for everybody else that signed that register. Legally, we should sign out. So we need, us that have signed in, need access to go in and sign out. But there's, a, there, there's no problem with Steve Edwards to come out, Joe. He's actually to come out and made a media statement. I mean, to, to me, to put a common sense approach on it, from a police perspective, you, a peaceful demonstration, as long as you're not... Whoa, well, armed police! And you're not hindering... Day -day it's just a just a nice peaceful protest. Which, um, <laughs> if you get well, to in the public, uh, just hang on, let me finish. Uh, okay, I'll well, listen to you. I don't want hindering or intimidating members of the public that are coming here to go about their daily business. I'm quite happy for you to have a peaceful process as long as you're away from the doors. The minute that it steps over from that and people go into staff only areas, it's going to become a police matter. Well, and I don't think that that achieves your goals. No, but let, me, let me tell you one thing, right? When someone uh, commits a breach of the peace, right, by intimidating me, causing me personal harm, which leads me to have a PTSD attack, right, right yeah. that in law is a breach of the peace. I would like you to arrest him for that breach of the peace. Well, I wouldn't retrospectively arrest somebody for a breach of the peace. Are you reporting a complaint against somebody in there? Yes, I am. I don't have his name. I can identify him. Okay. So what is I, can't I mean, this something now is probably something without your friends filming that they need to talk about in private. But, well, giving you, giving you that, <coughs> but retrospectively um, arresting somebody for a breach um, of the peace is not something um, that um, um, do. He actually made a grab for me when I was coming out, coming out, and then when I tried to go back in, giving you all this. Right. His attitude was very nice. Yes. The elderly gentleman with the bald head. Yes. Right. Okay. Unfortunately, we've you know, come here peaceful. I told him when I walked out that there, building, I will go back in this is going to be a peaceful protest. You will not get any there. problem. Nobody is going to stall the, the building. I'm assuming but that is, you is need this to find out. Is this a public there? office? Is this a public office? Well, those of us that have been in there, and especially a lady, I'll have to go to the toilet. Even a policeman, when he goes to the toilet, he's going to get you signed out. Even a policeman, when he goes to the toilet, he's going to get you signed out. Even a policeman, when he goes to the toilet, he's going to get you signed out. Even a policeman, when he goes to the toilet, he's going to get you signed out. Oh, yes, they did. I'd like to speak to the head of security. I'd like to speak to the head of security. Oh, I'd like to speak to the head of security.
If he wants to apologize for the actions of his colleague, I don't want to say that. Well, that's going to be a little bit difficult if he's not actually seen the head of security to see the actions of his staff. I mean, granted, at the end of the day, he's probably got some responsibility for our staff being there. If he's not physically seen that, it's a bit of a difficult thing to apologize for. From this perspective, I don't think you achieve your goals, Manchester, if you give them reason to call the police. If you have a peaceful protest and you're far enough back that people have got ready access to you, because they're all members of the public that are coming here to sign things and, and there's a registration. And a lot of people are asking what it's all about. Absolutely, so then it achieves your goals. Okay, so if you wouldn't mind moving back, I'll go in and see if I can get you signed out properly and I'll see if the head of security will have a private conversation with you. Steve, uh, nobody signed us out. I'll uh, thank you out. Now, Steve, uh, <laughs> Have we had? Let's do this. Yeah, let's well, do this behind the door. This is Steve Well, let's me and you go behind the door for the this is what happens if you uh, have a different opinion. They send the armed police out to you. Is that the word, armed police? Both armed police, both of them two. In a pro uh, look at that, a blacked out Land Rover. Get a registration number. That's what the two armed police came in. Intimidated by cops with guns now. Mm. That's what it's come to, that's what this country is. And he's still trying to say we're not in a dictatorship.